Welcome everybody to The Herd, I'm LaRue. Recently I brought the world in on my conversion because I'm almost done and I'm just finishing up little small projects and we're working up to the main voyage. So if you want to join me on that journey, go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe and I got much more content coming. As I said, we're working up to the maiden voyage. So uh, aside from the solar setup that I have, which feeds some batteries and a goes zero, I also have a generator. And today I'll be installing a 30 amp inlet for that generator. And the way I'm gonna do that is this kit right here. It's a 30 amp uh, Reliance kit. It's just a through wall. It just goes through the wall. And on the other side is, I don't know if you can see that, is just plugs, just plugs on the other side. So you kind of bypass a fuse box, which I thought was cool because I also have a Furman generator, which um, it's pretty newer, it's got all its circuit breakers and stuff like that. And this is how I'll solve the problem of like uh, cooking and stuff, which can be handled by my Go Zero, but I don't wanna, I like my Go Zero and I wanna like make it last as long as possible. So I really don't put too much heavy loads on it. So I decided to get this so I can have my generator um, running things like that finally. And so this kit is supposed to come with everything you need and I also got a cord also. The cord, got that from Amazon. I'll put the links in the description for this stuff um, in order to make this whole thing work. So, as I said, it's supposed to come with everything you need. This is my first time opening this box. And uh, even, the, even the tools to get the job done is supposed to come with that too, except for like the drill. Which my, my drill went out, stopped charging. So I had to get another little cheap drill to try to get this job done and this thing's look like looks like a toy I don't even know if it'll get the job done but we're gonna try it but uh so it comes with the uh the plug on the one side I mean for the inside it comes with like some PVC pipe in order to go through the wall let's see what other goodies are in here it looks like some fittings and stuff to waterproof some screws etc. Um, does have the, I forget what this is called, but you guys know what that is, to go through and make the hole in the wall. Um, what else we got? We should have the inlet for the outside in here. Um, kind of have a snap door. I'll have to take this apart and uh, see how exactly you wire it to this. And uh, it looks like it has a hole to kind of come in the side. It looks like it has a punch out. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, that little punch out. So, um, all right. It looks like it comes with everything. It seems to be pretty simple. There's only a few things, just the PVC. This thing is for the tool for making the hole. So, it's just one, two, three, four parts. All right, so uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, brush up on some instructions and get this thing started.
The 30 amp um, inlet install took a little longer than I expected to install because I had to order an adapter uh, to get from the cord to the actual inlet from the generator uh, and wait for that to get to me. Now it's here, everything's installed, the generator's running outside as you can probably hear. And in order to test the generator, which is a 3300 watt max, I'm going to hook the water heater up to it and I'm going to cook at the same time. So while the water is heating up, I'm going to go ahead and cook my favorite comfort food. So I've got my towels, my body wash, and a pot with a bowl, and my favorite comfort food. <laughs> so this together, the water heater and the uh, cooktop are combined 2700 watts. The max on the generator is 3300 watts, so it should handle it with no problem. And if everything's correct, well then I should be having hot water and take my first shower and cook at the same time and everything should be grand. So let's get to it. So far so good. It ran the water heater and the cooktop. Mm. And cooked these to perfection. Couldn't even break down with them. So far so good. Now on to the shower. So everything seemed to have worked out perfectly. I took a shower for the first time. I heated I heated the water through the water heater, heater for the first time. I put a heavy load on the generator for the first time. I cook for the first time in here. So everything seems to be hooked up perfectly. It's one more project down, um, installing this inlet um, that gets us closer to the maiden voyage of when we take off and see what this thing can really do out in the open. Um, I'm getting excited as I get as I get closer. I hope this excites you too And I hope this answers questions for those of you who are trying to build one of these conversions yourself So once again, thanks for watching. Please like subscribe hit the bell for notifications if you want to see more and until then till the next project Thanks for watching